let's continue so as god told me to say you missed it i'm not a chicken i am an eagle i am a lion with jesus christ hmm. for the first time i mentioned jesus name in my workplace email hmm. i cc'd my wicked manager the wicked hr wicked co-workers hmm, and other people and sent the email as instructed by god god made people start leaving that company also they now know i'm a daughter of god because hmm, i mentioned god's name they realize i'm different from them i am god's child hmm. if you mess with me hmm, you mess with god they were so shocked as i sent the email i resigned from the company seriously god punishes those who authors same way in the bible he punished pharaoh for hurting the israelites <clears throat> Also, anytime my manager schedule a meeting the next day to hurt me, God will make him sick that he will not be able to come to work. And that day I will just have peace at work. One day, God made him have COVID. Yes, he was sick. He could not come to work. Later, he became better. But while he was away, I had a great time. No disturbance. God was fighting for me. Whoever was troubling me at work, God will make them have COVID or get into car accidents, but they will be okay. But the point is they did not come to work and they did not disturb me. I had peace. God is our vindicator. God is our defender. Sometimes God would say partner with me to expose the wickedness of people. In the past, God would not involve me. He would expose them himself. But this time around, God said he wants me to partner with him to expose the wickedness of my manager. I was shocked and afraid, <laughs> but God gave me courage. My manager didn't see this coming. I used to be so quiet. I don't talk because God said I shouldn't. <laughs> but now God said, <laughs> let them experience a different side of me. He doesn't know I'm dangerous. I kept all the, I kept record of all the bad things he was doing. He doesn't know I serve a powerful God. Also, before I left the company, God told me to email him that I am a child of God. So you notice the more you hurt me, the more you have issues. Remember when your laptop was not working and my own was working? It's because God was fighting for me. <laughs> the manager was shocked. And I told him that the more you hurt me, the more you get sick. Remember that time you had COVID? God took you away so I could focus at work. Hmm. The man was shocked. So he was surprised I was calling the name of God. Seriously, my family, don't be ashamed to call the name of Jesus at work. Hmm. Call his name. Let people know you are a child of God. God will protect you. It is God that gave you this job and God can give you another job. God is my source of money. My manager is not my source. Yes, the moment you put this in your mind, you will not be afraid of your manager or co-workers because God is the God of the universe. Seriously, we need to tell people, do you know who my God is? Hmm. People should be afraid of you because you have God. Don't be afraid of people. You serve a mighty God. Holy Spirit lives in me. Holy Spirit lives in you. You are powerful because you have God. Hmm. In the past, I used to be so afraid of my wicked managers, wicked co-workers, but no more. They should be afraid of me because I have Jesus. Amen. Another one, even when I left the company, hmm, HR did not pay me completely. I decided to ignore them. I was like, I don't need their money. God said I should not ignore them. God said I should email HR and tell them you did not pay me completely. I was like, God, I don't want their money. They are so wicked. God insisted. I emailed HR. They started apologizing. I'm sorry. That was a typo. Hmm. God made them to pay me in full. And God gave me another surprise. Because they were ashamed of what they did, they don't want me to sue them. Hmm. They said to cash out my vacation hours. Wow. God made them pay me more money. Hmm. 
human resources was afraid of God in me. In fact, before I left the company, I told human resources, I sent them a note and CC the company people. I told them they behave very bad. Like, can you believe? Like, how, you no, know, I emailed them and God was telling me to say that. How can you believe the lies? My money, like, how can you believe what my manager told you without investigating the issue? Hmm. They were so ashamed and afraid of the God in me. Hmm. HL thought I was quiet, I can't out a fly. They don't know that there's time to be quiet and there's time to talk. They don't know that I'm led by the Spirit of God. They don't know that I am a lamb and I'm also a lion. Yes, Jesus is a lamb, Jesus is also a lion. The lion part of me came out with the help of the Holy Spirit. If you see the way they were apologizing in their email. I'm so sorry. We are going to send you another check for your vacation hours. Did I ask them to do that? No. God made them to do that. God is walking behind the scenes. God is fighting my battles. God's a God of justice. Don't mess with him. Don't mess with God's daughter. That's that was how God exposed the wicked manager, wicked HR people, wicked IT people, wicked co-workers and told me to leave that company. God is awesome. The devil was put to shame. My confidence in God went to another level. I'm not afraid of man. They cannot do anything to me. Greater is God in me than the devil in the world. Yes, greater is God in me than the people the devil uses to hurt me. Glory to God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen.